Ooh. Mm. We in drumline, man. Daniel Higley. Ultimatum. Mm. I feel like we back in the uh, 70s right now, man. Jive turkey. <laughs> Hear music like when you hear this beat, man, it's just like I got that mm. oh, we the intro right now. It's a telltale game. Man, I feel oh man, I feel like we we getting ready for that fight. Like this is a rally right now. <laughs> Band of Brothers. Get together, you know. They about to meet up, for fight over territory. Uh, we walking through the alley right now, man. Gotham City. Mm. We all meet up on the corner. Get deep, about to head out. This is how you paint a picture with music. Like you heard this, like all the small details in the track and the beat. It's real subtle stuff that like brings so much to it. on the carrier deck of the other plane right now, man. We about to hit them skies. Battlefield 3 mission. Y'all remember that one? you paint a picture man that's how you paint a story with your music like hands down <laughs> hey man that was daniel higley with ultimatum man like you like just from looking at the other tracks that mr higley has been a part of produced composed you know bombs over laros bunker world war three that gives you that kind of style or that kind of premise for the song. Like when you hear that, you, you hear like revolution. You hear like uh uh days and times past. You know what I'm saying? Like I can just see when you paint a picture with your music, this is what I see, me, my brain. Like when that comes in, all I see, remember them old days, like the old newspaper, how they would just like flip pages, like they were animated back and forth for just like, you know, they bombed Pearl Harbor and bomb, you know, the a V Victory Day or VE Day and all that kind of stuff, like from World War II and all that kind of stuff. That it's like the page are just flipping with this in the background. It's like it's like almost like a moment in time as it goes through, like, hey, the history 
of of the world you know what i'm saying like how it leads up to a premise almost like the intro to some type of new series a sitcom a show movie you know it's like it's, it's setting the tone it's setting the premise of what you can expect from whatever you're about to watch when i hear that i'm telling you, you can overlay that Oh, them old, old time black and white photos, man. You know, back of like segregation, you know, people getting sprayed with the water hose, sticking the dogs on them, people being able to vote and people like, um, you know, say, like I said, the bombs dropping, the world to the planes flying over. This is what my mind clicks to, man. It's almost like at, uh, I mean, we watched it in school years ago. It was like at Martin Luther, y'all remember, it's that Martin Luther King cartoon. You know what I'm saying? It was a, I don't think they show it no more. I think they stopped showing it years ago. I mean, I've been out of school for so long, but it started showing, but it was like that. Like, you know, it's showing like the um the culmination of what past to the present has been. That is what I get from this, man. Like you can overlay that, like take it to YouTube and like put this over one of those instances from like a story or a show or something like that and tell me if it don't match up. Tell me. Like and if my gamers out there, y'all feel like, you know, we on that carrier deck. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love what music gives me like i could close my eyes and i say this a lot because i truly mean it i can close my eyes and it's painting a very vivid specific picture for me you know what i'm saying i just picture i don't know maybe it was because i was looking at the battlefield you know what I'm, saying? I'm, I'm a big gamer so i would look at the battlefield updates and i ain't playing black ops 6 nothing like that because you now i'm done with the call of duty stuff so they fix it you know i'm 20 some years in that game but Battlefield 3, when you on that carrier deck, when you're the pilot and you're walking through the ship, going up to your plane, I feel like this is what plays. That slow background music, that lead up, that build up, you know what I'm saying, to something spectacular and epic. Dope, man. Daniel Higley or Tomato Man. And of course, what we like being a Spotify artist, man, about the artist. So let's take a quick look here. 41 followers, 16 million listeners. I feel like he's dropping something. Man, I feel like it's going to go up. A 90s child who was raised by hippie parents. Daniel lived the majority of his life in Japan, Germany, and Brooklyn. I'm not mad at that, man. Japan's my first stop when I get my passport. I'm telling you, I got to. He uses his life experience to share his message through his music. His influence are everything from experimental indie rock, industrial, to trip hop. That's the first time I heard of trip hop. I got to look into more of trip hop. Man, Daniel Higley, as always, information for Mr. Higley will be in the description below the whole Spotify thing. Let's see what else you got to offer over here. Since we're already taking a listen, we got a couple. Like, man, my man puts out music. Seesaw, we already got Bunker. Now you know bass, bass Bitcoin mix. Three Nights of Kirk Allen, Bombs, uh, Ultimatum, Composer, The Shadow. Yeah, we got stuff, man. Mr. Higley is doing his thing, man. So make sure you guys slide over, tap in, make sure you listen to the music. And if you enjoy, you know what to do, man. Hit that share button, share it to the family, friend, share it on your socials. That builds up the viewing audience. That builds up the views that get on YouTube. That builds up like the big, almost like a, um, almost like an email list, man, of people who just like, hey, I want to see more, hear more from particular this particular artist. You know what I'm saying? So it helps them out. You never know who's going to see it. That's why I like to stress to a lot of people, man, just share it. I don't care if you got six followers on your Instagram, put it on there, put it on your stories, man. Cause you see just random people to see it. It can be a celebrity. It could be an influencer. It can be a producer. It can be a mega producer. So you never know who's going to see stories and word of mouth is so big. And that's how we get these artists out here who are still putting in that pain, putting in that time, putting in that effort, crafting out their stories and their music. You never know. You never know where it can go from, man. Your short, your share could be the tipping point to let them see Super Producer Timberland might see it. You just never know, man. So it's, I'm always one of those like, hey, throw it against the wall, see what sticks, man. So once again, Mr. Higley, fantastic work, man. Like I love artists. I love when people are creatives are able to, like I said, pique my interest and my imagination. You know what I'm saying? Let it run wild. And music is like therapy for a lot of people. And I just like stuff like this where I can just like use my my, my experience and my knowledge from times past or from just growing up or the stuff that I've seen in my life. And just when I hear certain stuff, it triggers. Like we didn't have the um the strangeness in proportion with the Sean Hunter song, man, I almost cried. You know what I'm saying? I went back and listened to it again today. It's those nostalgic songs that take me back to my youth. I love it, man. I love how every song is different and brings something different out of me. You know what I'm saying? Good, bad, or indifferent. You know what I'm saying? So as always, man, if you guys want to join the SGFL Collective and come and be a part of something special, be a part of this group, 
uh i would love to have you over here man so we can check out these new artists together and you know what i'm saying you never know have a discourse in the comments and see where everything's go from man like i said we grow every single day we get more and more bigger every single day you know we drop videos i drop videos basically every single day you know from these new artists man who are able just to bless us with their creativity and their craft and you know least we can do is just be there for them listen to what they got to offer and then construct a criticism if needed share them if needed and just like have fun and just like enjoy what they present to us you know what i'm talking about so if you want to come over and join the sgfl collector hit that subscribe button i hope to see you there man so from me to you until next time and it will be soon it's your boy sgfl and i'm out